Seamless as always. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome, welcome. Rigo, do you think we'll be able to um, edit that bit out? Have you hit record? <laughs> anyway, welcome, happy Sunday afternoon. Um, say hi in the chat if you are joining us at six o'clock on Sunday afternoon. Um, if you are watching the recording, then um, we want you to say hi as well because we love um, we love watching um, everybody else's questions come into our lives after we are live, um, and we love knowing that um, the videos are going to lots of people as well. So either way, if you're watching this, chime in and tell me um, that you have watched it, no matter what time it is when you're watching it. Okay, um, so. It's been a while. We um, are actually doing a demo today, especially for our people, some that we met at Primex. So hi, if we met you at Primex, um, but also anybody else who is interested in the Thermomix and hasn't really seen the Thermomix in action uh, before. Now, if you're sitting there thinking, oh, I've already got a Thermomix, make sure you tag your friends in this post um, and let them know about the Thermomix. This will be the perfect post to tag somebody in if they're just thinking about a Thermomix or if they've asked questions about your Thermomix or whatever else. And as always, you know that um, there is lots of good host rewards available if you do introduce your friends uh, to us. So without much further ado, now I'm looking at Rigo and I'm hoping that he's um, back on track now. I do have Shane in the, um, over there in the driver's seat. Um, Shane, are we ready to let everybody know? <laughs> he doesn't know. He's like, I don't know if we are. <laughs> um, are we going to let everybody know what's included when they buy a Thermomix, please? Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so the Thermomix is $2,359. We do have lots of uh, payment options Um and we have got yeah, lots of different ways of getting a Thermomix. There's more than one way to skin a cat and there's more than one way to get the Thermomix on your kitchen bench. So um, I will go through all of the payment options a little bit later in the demo, uh, including how you could earn a Thermomix. So without actually having to uh, put out $2,359, you could earn yourself a Thermomix. So if that's something that interests you, make sure you wait for a little bit later in, in the demo. Oh, there we go. Now, have we got any questions so far, Shane? How are we going? Excellent. We've got some people watching. Hello, hello, hello. Excellent. Radio. Okay, well, let's get cracking then. So tonight what I'm doing is I'm going to make the TM6 beef stroganoff. Now, this is, if you've been watching our Facebook page for a while, you probably would have seen this cooked about 15 times because I actually love this recipe and I love how from when we had the TM31 and the TM5, the beef stroganoff recipe really, um, what's the word I'm looking for, Shane? It really evolved. evolved. Thank you. Yes, it evolved. And um, it is now the most delicious beef stroganoff recipe I think ever tasted. So that's what we're going to make tonight. And the reason for that is that everybody likes it and it's going to be our dinner tonight as well. But before I get started, Shane, can we have a look at the screen or is that pushing the friendship? Oh, look at that. We can. Excellent. Okay. So on the screen, you'll see here um, your time, temperature and speed. Now, if you've seen the TM31, I know at Primex, we talked to heaps of people that had a TM31 and they wanted to know, can I make the recipes that I make in my TM31 in my TM6? And the question, the answer is 100% yes to everything that you could make in a TM31, yes, you can do it in the TM6. Now, the only difference is that you'll just be pressing in your time, your temperature and your speed on the digital screen rather than on those buttons that you used to have with the TM31. But what's even better about the TM6 is I'm just going to go here and I'm going to go into my week. Oh, and of course my cookie do account's logged out. <laughs> I'm going to quickly just pop in my cookie door cap. Maybe just come back to me, Shane. See if I can actually remember what my password is. I just updated it. So, oops. 
spell my email address right. Just chat amongst yourselves. Shane, if you'd like to do a little bit of a tap dance, a tap dance or something, just to fill in the time while I'm quickly logging into my cookie do account. Um, okay. The recipe's up on the chat anyway. Sorry? Put the recipe into the chat. Oh, so everyone can actually, while I'm doing this, everybody can click on that recipe and have a look at it, can't they? Okay. Excellent. Are you mic'd up today, Rigo? Can we hear you? No, we can't. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, and I hope that this is still my password. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh my gosh. I only just had it up. I really hope this is it. Or we might be just doing it. Oh, look at that. Yay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Radio. So now we're into cookie do. Now, pretend like all that didn't happen. Back to the screen, Shane. The amazing thing about the TM6 is that you can just go here and you can go my week and the your meal plan will come up. So on my meal plan, I've got that today we're having the beef and mushroom stroganoff. So I'm just going to click that. Now, all of your recipes in Cookie Do are saved in there and they're now got step-by-step -step instructions on your screen. All right, so now I'm just going to hit start cooking. If I wanted to have a look and get my ingredients ready, I'd just hit the down button and I'd see all my ingredients, the top tips, the nutritional information, anything that's normally in the... Recipe book um, is all in there. Okay, but without further ado, back to me, please, Rigo. We'll get started. Rightio. Now, just make sure that you um, ask any questions. How are we going in the questions? Greg's saying hi from Sydney. Hi, Greg. Rightio. So, we are placing the Varoma on the top of your Thermomix. Now, when you've seen the What's Included page, you will see that your Varoma is included in your Thermomix. Now, it wants you to pop it on and weigh in your cabbage, but I've already done that. I just wanted to show you what the Varoma, how it comes. So today I've filled the Varoma up with a whole half of a cabbage, a whole half of a cabbage. But normally you could have other, like you could have your protein or whatever on the top tray and you could have that sitting on top as well and then your lid. Okay, so today I'm not going to use that bit. I'm just going to have my cabbage there. Now, this... Um, beef stroganoff recipe it actually instead of cooking pasta or mashed potato I know that there's a bit of a debate about what goes with beef stroganoff ma mushroom um, sweet with potato uh, or pasta I know there's a bit of a debate about that but with our stroganoff we're having cabbage noodles now when I say cabbage noodles it's literally just I've just sliced a cabbage I don't know if you can see that into like noodley shapes but it goes really well with the beef stroganoff because the beef stroganoff's got heaps of flavor so the cabbage is just is really yummy anyway it tells me to do that on the screen so i'm just going to hit next go past that yep i'm going to put my varoma on where bob's your uncle right here now i'm up to popping some parsley in my bowl i grew my own parsley in it goes and we're going to blitz that up so now this is instead of getting your chopping board out and chopping your parsley you are just going to do three seconds three seconds and you're going to set that aside because you're going to pop that on your strong off at the end oh sorry we go i was too quick for you oh. <laughs> anyway We'd love to hear about where everybody else is from. Greg, thanks for cheering in and um, letting us know that you're in Sydney. Everybody else, tell us where where you're joining from. And if you're watching the replay, um, I would also like to know where you're watching the replay as well. Radio. So now we've I've, I've got the most, you know, majority of my parsley out. There's still a bit of parsley in the bowl, but that's fine. Sometimes in a Thermomix recipe, you will get a step that says clean and dry your mixing bowl. This is not one of those times. Okay, because a little bit of parsley in our stroganoff is no problems. Now we go in with our onion, and it actually wants 200 grams of onion. I've only got 135 because I just did one onion, but that's okay. You can be very, um, I don't know, what's the word, Shane? I can't think of any words today. 
flexible. You can be very flexible with how much you put in and what you do. Um, Cause you know, you're in charge, you're in control. So heaps of oil in there. This is gonna sizzle our onion, which if you've got a, one of the previous model Thermomixes, you won't have heard a sizzle from a Thermomix. So let's go with that. Now this is gonna go for three minutes. And you can see there and there, it's just stirring around and it's actually going to sizzle. And I'm gonna let you listen to it sizzling. Did Brooke say hello? Brooke, I know that you're in Coffs Harbour. Steph's in Tamworth. Hi, Steph. I haven't seen you. Oh, I haven't seen you for a while. Haven't heard you for, heard from you for a while. Hope everybody is doing really well. We have been. Um, oh, we've been so busy, haven't we? Ta haven't we, Shane? We've been. We've been everywhere, man. I just got home yesterday from Sydney. I've had a couple of days in Sydney um, for work, which has been really good. And if you're in Sydney, if you're ever in Sydney and you're in Waterloo is the suburb, I'm pretty sure. We've got a Thermomix Experience Centre there now. So it's a little bit like a head office, but also um, they do demonstrations and you can see mix shop products and all that kind of stuff there. So if you're ever in the middle of Sydney, um, pop in there and say hello to the girls in there. Anyway, I um, presented a cooking class in there on Thursday night, which was really good, and met some people that have been watching on Facebook, which was really cool. Um, I... Yeah, it blows me away when I meet strangers that actually know, you know, they say, oh, how's Wes and how's Shane? And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. You know, you know our life. Now, have a look at the onion. Well, have a look, but have a listen. Can you hear that? I reckon they can, Shane. What do you reckon? You reckon they can? It's good. Who wants to know, can we go into the experience center any time? Um, Greg... Like, not any time. <laughs> um, it's not open 24-7. Just back to me, please, Shane. Um, it's, it's not open, like, all the time, but pretty much, like, you know, in, in business hours, there, there is someone there that would be able to show you. But keep an eye out um, for when there's actually events on. And, Greg, I can... Um, there is actually a whole heap of events coming up in the next um, few weeks before Christmas. So there's lots of time where you can go in there um, between now and Christmas. I'll, po I'll after this, because Shane doesn't know where to find that, after this I'll post it in here for you so you can um, so you can see, seeing as you're in Sydney. Yay. Um, but, yeah, so then before that, before we were in Sydney, the week before that, we were at Primex, which that was even, that was really cool, wasn't it, Shane? We, we loved um, Primex and getting our cowgirl boots on and... Um, spending some time in casino because we all know how much I love casino. So um, it was really good and it was lovely to meet lots of um, people in casino as well and put some faces to some names that we've we've seen. So um, that's been really good and to see some old friends and people who um, we haven't seen for ages. So that was really good. Shane got to catch up with some old um, work friends and stuff as well. So it was really good. And Shane was a Thermomix consultant for three days. Okay, back to my onions. <laughs> okay, so there we go. They're sizzled in there. Shane, you want to show the the oils all, all sizzling around in there? Then we're just going to put our MC on and we're going to chop those onions up for three seconds. And I'm just going to do that again because it didn't get up to my speed for me. Three seconds wasn't long enough when it's that hot. My children don't like chunky onions. So this is another time where you can just overrule the Thermomix if you want. See now, those onions are much better chopped because otherwise they would have just been broken up. Which is fine if you like chunky onion in your stroganoff, but we're not big fans of chunky onion at our house. Okay, so then I'm going to go next, scrape down the sides. I've already done that. Now I'm going to put in our beef. Now we're going to do a little plug for our beef as well. <laughs> Uh, which our beef is from Casino as well, um, and it does come from our cow. So if you have been following along, you will know that um, we are getting all of our meat um, from our cow now, and it is absolutely delightful. And even though I grew up in a butcher shop, so I'm not opposed to chopping up raw meat, I love the diced beef because it's already chopped up for me and it's, I don't have to 
deal with it. So there you go, that's our cow. And that's how it comes. Everything comes cryvac. You can just pop it in the um, in the fridge. You sign up to get a box of meat come every four weeks if that's what you want or you can choose whatever you like. Um, and so this came on Saturday, did it, Shane? Yeah. So this came on Saturday and it would be fine in the fridge until the 7th of December, okay? So nearly a month in the fridge. Um, but if, if it also tells you a date if you want to freeze it as well. So it's really good to have that written on there as well so you're not... Um, you know, when you get a bag of meat, sometimes you're like, oh, when is that good till or whatever. But this makes sure and tells you when it is good till. And it's all chopped up. So we will put a link for our cow boxes, subscription box too, because um, we love our cow and we love what they're doing. They're helping the farmers. They're helping um, people know where their food's coming from as well, which I should have told you where this comes from. I'll get it out of the bin in a second as soon as I put it on and I'll tell you where this diced beef came from. Now... <laughs> We are going to sizzle that now for seven minutes. So I'm just popping that on and I'm putting that on high heat. So you will notice that um, that high heat function, that is just for the TM6, that is where our Thermomix gets up to um, a temperature that um, will actually sizzle steak and chicken and whatever else. Let me tell you where my meat's from. I hope I can read it. I can. Um, so this diced beef came from Rick and Sue McDougall, grass-fed South Devon beef, Upper Horton, New South Wales. There you go. And I actually love knowing that. I don't know why it does. It does. Um, it does make it makes my day when I know where my beef comes from. Anyway, radio. Oh, Bronte, you could hear. Was it Bronte? Bronnie, Bronnie, you could hear the sizzle. Great. Thank you for letting me know. I'm just going to wash my hands. And show you I'm going to fly. <laughs> Are you going to kill that fly for me? <laughs> Rightio. Now, back to the functions of the Thermomix. I have to keep on track tonight that, because I know that I am talking to um, people who've never seen a Thermomix before. And I know that it's I sometimes something that I know about myself is that I just chuck it all in the Thermomix and talk about other stuff and forget to tell people actually what the Thermomix is doing. So at the moment, on the high heat function, the Thermomix is getting up to a high temperature, the highest temperature it will get to. It is actually stopping, so there's no movement in there, and then it's just doing one stir every now and then just to keep it moving, okay? Now, it's also um, not going to chop up that meat because the blades are not spinning quickly. Now, when the blades spin slowly, often they're in reverse and the back side of the blade is actually blunt. So it will not chop up the meat um, if you don't want it to um, in there as well. Now, when I mentioned cookie do before, I want to just touch on that. If you could just click on the cookie do screen for me, please, Shane. Yeah, so basically what Cookie Do is, is it is a website and an app and a place that all of our Thermomix recipes are. So it's a little bit like Netflix for your recipes. Um, it is a subscription service. Um, it is $69 a year once you've had your free six months when you buy your new Thermomix. And in here is every recipe that's been made by Thermomix for the TM6, okay? Now, you can search in there for the recipe name, like you could put in beef stroganoff and it would have brought up today's um, recipe, or you could pop in ingredients that you had. So you could put in beef and mushrooms and it would bring up this recipe um, that way for you as well. Now, it, we also have got lots of collections in there. So every time a new book is released or a new collection is released, you automatically get access to that as well. Um, thanks, Doc. As I was talking about before, we've got our meal plan. So this is where you can plan for a week or a fortnight or a month, however long you want. Once you've chosen what recipes you're going to um, have for the week or the month, whatever you want, you can go in and select which ones you're going to shop for and then you can do a shopping list. Now, very excitingly, but actually not working at the moment, is that um, you can then order your groceries online. So they're just tweaking that at the moment and then that will be back soon um, for anybody that's um, been waiting for that to come back. I, I can't imagine that it's long now that we've got to wait for that. But you will be able to actually click on that and then 
be able to do your Woolworths online order um, and order your, your ingredients. Now, Cookie Do 3.0, which is our latest update that we've just had, means that you can add your own recipes to Cookie Do. So before we only had the recipes that Thermomix made, now if you've made a recipe or one of your friends has made a recipe or you've found a recipe you really like on the recipe community, um, which is another place for some great recipes for Thermomix, then you can add them to Cookie Do and you can have it like this recipe step by step um, all the way through. Now, the other cool thing about Cookie Do that's just been added literally like two weeks ago is recipe scaling. So if you are thinking, oh, but I'm only cooking for me and my husband or, um, or, or I'm cooking for me and five children, then you can actually now go in and tell Cookie Do how many serves you want to make. So this is only for the recipes so far in the basic book, which is the book that you get with your Thermomix. Um, so all of those 170 recipes, I think it is. Um, but obviously they're adding more of those. They're just doing testing and stuff like that to those as well, which is really good, especially for people who want to scale down recipes. You don't want to make you know, a whole big bowl of beef stroganoff or whatever, you can still um, use the Thermomix for serving two people or whatever. Um, so any questions about Cookie Do, please write them in the in the chat. We do do Cookie Do workshops um, every month. So just helping people, once they get their Thermomix, to navigate that website. It's got an app um, on your phone. You can look at it on your Thermomix screen as well. Um, or your computer. So just getting your head around all of the recipes, um, we are here to help you with that. So there, if you click on the link that's in the comments, there is a cookie do session coming up next week, I think it is. Um, so you can just register and go come along to that for free as well if you need help with cookie do or if you want to know a little bit more about cookie do as well. Shane, you look like you've got something to tell me. Greg's in Sydney and he would want to try our cow, but he doesn't think they do deliver to Sydney, Greg. I'll let you know about that as well. Greg, I've got lots to tell you when I get off. I'll tell you about our cow and I'll send you through um, when you can go to the um, experience centre. But yes, they deliver all around the country. Well, I shouldn't say all around the country. I don't know exactly where, but definitely Sydney is one of them. Anyway, we've got 36 seconds to go. So I'll do a little tap dance and we'll wait for that. <laughs> hey, Wendy. Um... And, oh, and Danielle's, Danielle's watching. Hello, Danielle. Danielle's one of our um, newest Thermomix owners. Shay, did you know that? Oh, there you go. You do now. Um, and Danielle, I've been telling Danielle about the Thermomix for the last, actually, it's just gone nine years that I've been a Thermomix consultant. So I reckon probably for nine years I've been telling Danny about the Thermomix. So this is this will be good. Um, she'll... You're, you're in the right place, Danny, because you need some tips on your new Thermomix. Um, okay, so now I'm back to my recipe. I'm going to give that a scrape, like it said. Look at my beef, it's all nice and brown. I'm just giving the bottom a really good scrape to make sure there's nothing stuck on the bottom. Give it a stir around. Look at that. Oh, it's good enough to eat. Here we go. Right, anyway, now I'm popping in my mushrooms. Now I went a little bit over with my meat and I'm gonna go a little bit over, uh, sorry. I went a little bit over with my beef and I'm going to go a little bit under with my mushrooms, but it's completely fine. It doesn't matter. Um, okay, tomato paste. And look, it's, it just is follow your nose with these steps because um, anybody could do this. Would you say, Shane, anybody could do it? I think that's a fair... What do you reckon? Absolutely. Absolutely. Rightio. Some wine. I finally found a good um, big bottle of wine. I don't drink wine much. <laughs> well, I did, I did on Friday night, but I don't normally drink much wine. Um, and this is just from, um, uh, where does Paul work? Liquor, uh, no, what's it called? Liquorland. Liquorland, thank you. Um, and it is a dry white wine, and you get it in a litre, and it's only... I don't know how much it is. Not much. Ten to twenty dollars. Not not very much at all. Right, go. <laughs> That's a good plug for Liquorland. I'm, I'm plugging everybody today. I'll just um, wait for the endorsement checks to start um, flowing in. Radio. 
So I've popped in my tomato paste. Now the next paste that I'm adding is actually vegetable stock paste, um, which, thanks Doc, is made in your Thermomix. Now, if you've got a Thermomix and you haven't made vegetable stock paste yet, please do yourself a favor and make vegetable stock paste because it will make everything taste so much better than if you use bought um, stock cubes or liquid stock or whatever. Um, it's really easy to make, really cheap to make. You'll save money, you'll help the environment. The advantages of vegetable stock paste are out of this world. But you will see, if you go back to the screen, that this actually asks for meat stock paste. But I only do veggie stock paste, and I just substitute my veggie stock in whenever it asks for a stock paste, which is completely fine as well. Radio, some paprika. I don't know why I didn't bring my ingredients over today. It's Anyway, Denny hasn't commented on how long it took her to, oh, there we go. Oh, she's multitasking at work and watching. That's what I like to hear, Denny. I won't mention what Denny does for a living. <laughs> Rightio, a good tablespoon of um, ground paprika. I would like, Denny, if you can hear me, I would like to know what um, you've made in your Thermomix so far. Some salt. Oh, that fly's really annoying. Some cayenne pepper. Where is she? There we are. Now, only a pinch of cayenne pepper um, because it is quite hot. Um, and you don't want it to be too hot because, especially if you're cooking it for the children. Um, and now we're going in with some Dijon mustard. And I always do a little bit extra of the Dijon because we love that flavor. Radio. Anybody else saying anything in the comments for me, Shane Pants? Oh. Hey? Oh. Radio. Okay, so now we're putting that back on. We are, back to me, we are putting the Varoma. Oh, look at that fly. I wish it would go away. Could you kill the fly, Shane? Um, <laughs> okay, so in here, the beef, the mushrooms, the stock paste, the wine, that's all now marinating cooking in there there he is there <laughs> um it's okay he'll be all right you've scared him um and now this is going to start putting some steam up into our aroma where we've got our cabbage noodles cooking okay so that is going to cook for 15 minutes now if you are time poor this is where having a thermomix comes into its own because you've had probably i don't know five ten minutes or whatever getting your stuff ready, getting it all going. You can now walk away for 15 minutes, bath the children, do a load of washing, clean up, whatever you need to do, you can leave the kitchen. Okay, so this is probably my favorite thing about the Thermomix is that majority of the time you don't actually need to be standing beside it. I feel like I stand beside a Thermomix a lot more than um, probably anybody else known to man because I keep chatting about it while I'm here. But if I was upstairs cooking, 15 minutes, I'm out of there and I'm doing something else, okay? Now, at the moment, when you buy a Thermomix, you actually get a second bowl blade and lid. Now, when I mentioned before that with the recipe I'm doing tonight, I chopped up the parsley, but I didn't need to wash the bowl in between. I just kept going and I've only used one bowl. Some recipes, sometimes, actually say, okay, now wash and dry your mixing bowl and do your next step, okay? So you might put something out and continue on with a clean bowl. Now that is where having a second bowl blade and lid set, um, normally $375, at the moment you can buy for $29. Now that's only till mid-January, oh, no, mid-December, mid oh my gosh mid-December or until stocks last. So that is a limited time offer only. The Thermomix will actually come with a second bowl blade and lid for $29, which I think is, you, you, you have to have a second bowl blade and lid. Um, lots of people buy a second bowl blade and lid once they get their Thermomix anyway. Um, but yeah, it's a really good offer at the moment um, doing that as well. Now, the other offer that we've got happening at the moment is the 36 months interest free. So paying your Thermomix off, if you 
don't want to pay $2,359 in one go, which I wouldn't want to do that myself. Um, I would want to pay it off and use the money that I save in my weekly shop, in my getting takeaway, all of that in um, paying off my Thermomix. And that's actually how I got my first Thermomix um, way back nine years ago. So at the moment, you can pay it off $16.97 a week. If you're watching this after that finishes, which is mid-December, um, then we will revert to 24 months interest-free and that will be just under $25 a week. But both very affordable and very doable in what you will save when you have a Thermomix in your weekly shops as well. Now, the big news is earning a Thermomix, Shane. Could you be a Thermomix consultant? I reckon you probably could. Uh, if you've got a little bit of spare time um, and a can-do attitude, we want to hear from you. Joining the team is only $125 and you do get all of the stuff that is shown here on this screen. Uh, but at the moment, if you don't have a Thermomix yet, uh, you can come on board and earn a Thermomix just for selling four Thermomixes, okay? So normally, you can, you can always earn a Thermomix. Um, so even if you're watching this, in 2023 after this offer's finished you can always earn a thermomix but normally you have to sell six so they're giving you a discount of about five hundred dollars of um off how many you normally have to sell so it is a really good deal selling four thermomixes earning your own thermomix for free um, just by becoming a consultant and you get to join our team which that's probably the best part of it. And I, I can be your team leader. So if that interests you, make sure you send us a message and let us know that you want some more information about joining the team. Now, all the other payment options, because <laughs> there are lots. Um, thanks, Doc. So paying outright, if you don't want to become a consultant and you don't want to pay it off on zip money, you just want to pay you $2,359, you definitely can do that. You can do that on your credit or your debit card or your PayPal account, or you can even pop it on Afterpay and pay it back in for payments with Afterpay. So um, there are your options. Oh, sorry, there's another option. You've got Easy 3. Oh, my gosh. Okay, Easy 3. You can pay $1,009 and your Thermomix gets ordered, and then 30 days later you pay $700, and then 30 days after that you pay another $700. So a little bit like a take-home lay-by. That's a good option. Easy three is a good option if you don't want to um, do the zip money, but you do want to just pay it off in the next few months, then that is a go as well. If you've got any questions about paying for a Thermomix, um, which I know people don't like asking um, the payment questions um, online in front of everybody or even in front of their friends or whatever, just send us a, a personal message if you've got any questions about payment options or earning a Thermomix or anything like that. We're more than happy to help you on um, private message for those. What else, Shane? Anything else to talk about? Danielle has made veggie stock. Yes, pizza, veggie stock for Danny. Pizza dough, muffins, pizza Ooh. scrolls, spaghetti, meatballs. Okay. Did everybody hear you then? Are you on mic? No. Oh, can you read that out? Because I can't remember that. Quick. Rigo will tell us what Danny's made veggie so far. Stock. Pizza dough, muffins, pizza scrolls, spaghetti, meatballs. Excellent. Rightio. Very good. And she only got it this week, so um, she's done quite well. I love it. I love it. Let me know if you're new to Thermomix, what have you been making in your Thermomix um, as well? And don't forget, you can tag your friends in this um, thread as well if they need to see the Thermomix. Actually, um, Shane, let's just quickly show the host rewards. So, when I'm talking about um, referring your friends, these are the these are some of the things. Well, actually, these are all the things that you can earn just for referring your friends to your Thermomix consultant. Okay, so our thank you for sharing the Thermomix with your friends is if your friends buy one of these things for free. If you just tag two friends and they don't buy but they want to talk to me about Thermomix, then you can have a um, host price for these items. Now. These items, if you just come back to me, Shane, I just I popped a couple here just to talk about today. So if you haven't seen the 2.6 litre thermo server, which is what I'm going to pop my dinner in tonight 
for um, when we're ready to eat. The thermo server is basically like a double walled bowl, so stainless steel double walled bowl, and it keeps food hot or cold for two hours. Okay, so it, uh, there's a lot of recipes. Well, I shouldn't say there's a lot of recipes. There, there are a few recipes that you actually have to pop something out of your thermomix into your thermo server. So it'll say pop into a thermo server to keep that warm while you do the next step. Or say if you're going to do a curry in your thermomix and you want to do some rice first, whack your rice on um, and then pop your rice in your thermo server. That'll keep nice and hot until your curry is ready and then you'll serve curry and hot, nice hot boiled rice. Um, now, we should give another plug, another shameless plug to our YouTube channel. So on YouTube, we have got lots of our basic things that you can do in a Thermomix. So lots of people have asked us, especially last week when we're at Primex, like, what does it do? What can it do? Um, so we've made a whole little series about the basic things that you should be doing in your Thermomix. So even if you've got a Thermomix, go on over to the YouTube channel when this is finished. Um, and have a look at some of the basic things um, that we show you how to do in your Thermomix on there. We're adding more videos all the time and make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel when you're there as well because we've got a little bit of a side side note. We've got a goal to get to a thousand subscribers before the end of the year so make sure you tell your friends about that. Um, but you will see in there we do use the Thermo service quite a lot for our basic um, things as well whilst we're waiting for our main thing to be cooked. Shane, he looks like he wants to talk to me again. <laughs> yes, darling. Ronnie wants some information about becoming a consultant. Oh, does she? Excellent, Radio yeah. Ronnie. Annette has answered the question they agree with saying that our cow has delivered the whole list of Oh, there you go. Thank you, Annette. Annette, are, are you on, um, have you got our cow? Tell me. I'd love to know if anybody has got our cow since, well, I'd love to know if anyone's getting our cow, but I'd love to know if anybody got our cow because we've talked about it because lots of people have um, clicked our link for our cow and I know have ordered their box, but I don't see who it is. So, um, yeah, it's it's like a little referral system thing and I would love to know if, they, if it actually came up with the name of who's trying it so I could ring them and ask them what they've tried and what they're cooking and all of that. But if you are getting our cow, let me know what you've ordered um, and what you're cooking with it because um, I'd love to some more ideas of um, things that we can do with our cow. The mints from our cow is really, really good. And oh, Annette, you got there before me. Excellent. Excellent. Rightio. Um, I'd love to know what your favourite our cow thing is, isn't it? Um, anyway, that's the thermo server. So that is one of the things that you can get by hosting um, as a thermomix, hosting a thermomix demo. Um, now, the other thing is the bread melt. So if you are, and this is my little tip, I have been, did you see that? I, I just peeled that off the wall. My bread mat, um, I found out in Sydney this week that you can hang them up on the wall and they'll drip dry well not drip dry but air dry um, but if you're going to make bread in your thermomix or um, pizza dough or any of the doughy sort of things you need a thermo mat uh, bread mat sorry um, and that actually comes in a pack and I don't have the other one here but you get your bread mat which is like a double size one and then you get one that's about this size which actually is an oven mat that goes on your oven tray that can go in the oven as well. So then you don't use as much uh, like glad bake or baking paper on your trays as well. Now, Shane, is there a question? Oh, I thought you all looked like you were going to ask me a question. What else can I? What else can I tell everybody? <laughs> Make sure you ask questions. 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 We want to know what you want to know. Oh, that was Annette Bloomfield. Oh, Annette Bloomfield that's getting our cow. Excellent. I love it. I love it. Radio. We've, our, our stroganoff is nearly done. When you're, in a, when you're in a cookie dough recipe, if you just go to the screen again there, Shane, oh, you can't really see, but if you want to know how, how long you've got to go or are you nearly at the end, it actually tells you here what step this is. So it'll say this is this is tw step 26 of 31. So I know I've only got a couple of next, next, next 
to go and then my beef stroganoff is finished. And all I'm going to add is my sour cream, I think. But yes, radio. I don't know what else we what, what else we can talk about. <laughs> Somebody asked me a question. I, I'm I'm usually pretty good at filling in 15 minutes, but today it was only 30. Shane, what else have we got? <laughs> what was your highlight at Primex, Shane? <laughs> Catching up on old, old friends and things like that. Oh yeah, that was good. My highlight was the um, was the new thing that they've got that is a drone that sprays paddocks. I was really impressed with that. And Rigo thought that was so funny that how impressed with that that I was, but I was actually really impressed with that. But yes, catching up with, with old friends was great at Primex and um, getting back to casino. And a shout out to my mum who actually looked after the kids while we were in Pri at Primex. What would we do without her? And we had some nice dinners in casino, didn't we? We didn't cook at all. Oh, and Annie Lynn, sorry. Yes, <laughs> of course, Annie Lynn. That's just Nan and Annie Lynn is one, one entity. Um, nice dinners in casino. If you're in casino, I reckon the place to eat um, is the Clydesdale, or what, do they call, what does he call it now? The Steak Barn. The Clydesdale, or what's the pub we like, Shay? The commercial pub. Very good food. Um, and we didn't actually cook once while we were there, which is very bad. And our bank balance is um, showing it, <laughs> just quietly. <laughs> it costs so much not to be eating at home, doesn't it? So, um, yeah, that's why everybody needs a Thermomix. And I had a Thermomix while I was there, but I was just too exhausted to even think about cooking food. Um, but sometimes it's nice to have someone else cook it for you, isn't it? Radio. Now this is going to ding and I am going to take my cabbage noodles. I'm just going to, oh that was very hot. Be careful with that because it is, um, <laughs> don't do that because it is quite hot. Set the Varoma aside. Go next. You can weigh in your sour cream. I usually put about half of a container of sour cream in um, because we just use the other half just to Put a dob of it on when we plate it up and oh it's just a stir to combine we're not even cooking it any further we're just stirring here we go oh yeah righty -o. so i'm just going to leave that sit there give the scrape down the sides a bit and i don't have a bowl down here doll to to um plate this up in but i'm just going to show you can you come back to me. There we go. So, um, our cabbage noodles, which I was very skeptical when I first heard about cabbage noodles, let me tell you, um, but they are delicious. So, just pop your cabbage in. So, your cabbage has still got a crunch to it. Um, and still got a crunch, um, but it's also kind of noodly, I guess. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to pop my cabbage noodles there and I'm going to put the lid on like so and I might pop some, oh actually I'll plate one up. And actually it's almost tea time isn't it? So we'll probably just have our dinner now. Rightio, so some cabbage on the bottom and Big scoop full of this. Now beef stroganoff. And don't forget the the bowl actually keeps things nice and hot too, so that will be fine in my bowl. I've got my little dollop of sour cream on top. Sour cream. No. Nope. I'm on the wrong angle and a little bit of parsley now how does that look move that out of the way what do you reckon Shane 
great. He's saying great. <laughs> he cannot wait to taste the cabbage. If everybody knows Shane, they know that he will not eat that, but that's okay. It's not my fault that my fussiest child is um, my big one. Anyway, that is us done for the day. Thank you so much for joining us. Like I said before, make sure that if you have watched as a replay, you shout out and let us know in the comments. If you've got any questions, just whack them in there and we'll be more than happy to help you. And until next time, bye from us.